Hello friends! Today I'm going to be doing my July favorites video. I have tons of stuff. I actually was considering not doing this video because I was thinking I don't really think I've like tried anything new and then I started poking around and realized that I've tried a ton of new stuff recently. I'm just gonna jump right into it with the makeup. The first thing is more of like a rediscovery. I bought this around probably around last year and I love it. I just found it in my drawer and started using it again. It is the Jouer Powder Blush in Peach Bouquet and I love Jouer products. Love it. The second thing will come as no surprise to anybody. I've featured them in quite a few videos. Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadows and I'm not going to go on a rant about these because you all know that I love them, especially the Rio de Rose Gold. I also have Beach Sand. They're amazing. I love them. I want all of them. The third thing is something I've never tried before and this was actually given to me by one of my best friends and it didn't suit her skin tone so she gave it to me and it is a sample of Benefits Erase Paste and I've always wanted to try this and I never have. And this is the medium color which I would think I would be a light color but the medium color works great for me under my eyes and it is like a beautiful salmony color and it's a pretty good amount for a sample I think. So I really enjoy this and I especially like it with applying it with a brush and this is a Sigma E25 so it's basically like the dupe of MAC 217 and this is great. It does such a good job with the salmon color of correcting dark circles so I definitely recommend that. This is a product that I've never tried before. I've tried e.l.f. cosmetics in the past and I liked them but I wasn't crazy about them. This one I love. This is the e.l.f high definition under eye setting powder and I've heard a lot of good things. I got it for three dollars which is an amazing deal but I was thinking I don't know about this because I don't know if you can tell you probably can't. I'll try swatching it and see if I can show you that there are little bits of shimmer in it and it probably won't show up on camera but I was very wary of that when I opened it I went oh this is not going to work out but I love it. It's great. You just use the tiniest amount. I just tap it in my brush into it and then swirl it in the cap and put it underneath my eyes. And it is really, really good. And it fell on the floor. I've never used an under eye setting powder before. I used to use just the Laura Mercier loose powder. I used all that up and I just was using my regular face powder. And it really does make a difference, especially if you have fine lines under your eyes. I don't really, but sometimes it'll crease a little bit on me. So that's definitely, definitely worth checking out, especially for $3. Like, definitely. Another thing that I tried from e.l.f. recently when I got that were some brushes. I never tried e.l.f. brushes before and I was really interested in trying them because I'd heard good things and especially for the price, got three of them. The first one is an e.l.f. blending brush. This was a dollar. Like, for the price, it's amazing. I really had pretty low expectations when it came to these brushes, but they're really, really good. I really like this one. It's kind of like a bigger it's a little bit bigger than a pencil brush, and I really like it for the crease. It's really good, especially for the money. Like, you can't go wrong. I also got the Flawless Concealer Brush. This was $3, and it's just a big, fluffy brush. I think this would also be good for blending out eyeshadow if you have larger eyes. I, I really like it for using the under eye setting powder and just kind of dabbing it underneath my eyes. I think it's a really, really good brush, especially for the money. Like... You can't go wrong. The last one I got is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush, and I didn't really know what I was going to do with this one when I bought it. I thought I might set my under eyes with this one, but I have yet to do that. I just really like duo fiber brushes, and I got it. And I thought, hmm, you know, I'll use it for something. I used it for liquid foundation one day, and it was alright, but I wasn't my favorite. And I've been using it recently to contour my cheeks, and it's the perfect size for that, especially if you're going for a little bit more of a a muted contour if you're using a little bit darker of a powder and you don't want it to be a solid line you want it to be a little bit more blended this is a perfect brush for that so I definitely I definitely definitely recommend these brushes and all of the elf brushes like I'm dying to try more because I think they're really good they're definitely comparable to some of my MAC and Lancome brushes which is amazing for the price and then the next two things were also gifts from my BFF this is the Milani blush in Luminoso and this has been like 
raved and raved about online and it's a beautiful color. I really, really like it. I was a little bit wary of the shimmer, but I really like it. It's a beautiful peach color and it's a baked blush, so it really does have a lot of shimmer to it. But it's very flattering, especially on my skin tone. Peaches and corals tend to suit me very well. I really enjoy this. I formerly tried um, the Berry Amore one. That was a few months ago. And it did not do anything for me. That was definitely a miss for me. Because it, you know, was a little dark for me. It was very shimmery. And also, it changed color throughout the day. It kind of oxidized on me, which was not flattering at all. So I definitely, definitely do not recommend that one. If you're similar in skin tone to me, if you're darker, it might suit you. But the um, Luminosa one is way, way better. This is a Deborah Lipman polish, which I normally wouldn't wear glitter alone, but I really like this one on its own. I wish I were wearing it right now so I could show it to you. It's called Boom Boom Pow, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. And I've never had a Deborah Lipman polish before. I've always wanted one. And I like it mostly because it has a lot of different sizes of glitter in it which makes it really flattering on the nails especially bare so that you have like the small fine pieces and also the chunkier pieces so that it covers more of the nail and you need less coats i can get a pretty true color in about two coats three it looks really really good and it lasted pretty well so overall i'm pretty impressed with it so i am anxious to try more deborah lipman polishes so thanks to my friend I got to try that, so I really, really like that one. And then, I'm not going to talk about this too much because I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about it by now. It's the MAC Gel Cream Fluid Line Eyebrow Cream in Dirty Blonde. I just love it. You guys know that I love it. It's waterproof, long wearing. It's amazing. My favorite brow product and my only brow product that I'm using right now. So, you guys know that I love this. The next thing that I've been loving is a MAC product as well. This is Max Brown Script Eyeshadow, and this is new. I bought this at the same time as I bought the eyebrow product, and it's really cool. I've been really wanting this one because it's very warm. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of like a darker, more terracotta version of Soft Brown, which is one of my all-time favorites, you guys know. So I'll do a comparison for you guys and show you the difference. They're very different, but they kind of reminded me of each other. And I, they work very well together. This one's brown script and this one's soft brown. So as you see, this is warm as well, but this is just a much darker, more reddish version. They just work so well together, and I've seen them used together in other tutorials by other makeup people on YouTube, and I just wanted it really badly. And I really, really love that in the crease, especially when I'm doing like a champagne or rose gold lid, and that is just great. I love it. It's a matte too, so it's super, super creamy, super bondable, so really great if you're into really warm colors. The next thing will also come as no surprise. I feel like all of these things I've talked about before, but it's okay. <laughs> you guys understand. So the next thing is the Revlon Color Burst Matte, matte Balm in Audacious, and I've talked about this before. It's the most beautiful corally orange color. I'm wearing it today and it's just beautiful. I like this mostly because of the formula. It's so soft and velvety and you know for the price you can't beat it so definitely check that out. I'm gonna go into a couple rediscovery products that I had. Um, one I had lying around from last summer and I tried it again. This is the Not Your Mother this is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray infused with dead sea salt and sea kelp. And I used this religiously last summer and I just got into using it again when I don't have my hair blow dried and it's just kind of curly and crazy. It just adds a little bit of texture and makes it look a little bit more intentional. And I'm definitely looking forward to taking this to the beach with me and using it because it's really flattering and it just makes your hair look effortless but it also looks like you intended it for it to be that way. So I love this stuff. I was just repurchasing shaving cream and I came across this and I've used this in the past, but I especially like this, I almost said flavor. I especially like this scent. This is the Eos Shave Cream in Lavender Jasmine. And this is kind of unique because it doesn't lather, like it doesn't um, become a foam, it's, it's a lotion. So it's very, very moisturizing and doesn't irritate your skin when you shave. It's really good for summer, especially when you're shaving more often. And um, I just really like it. I really like EOS products in general. So yeah, I really like this and it smells 
like lavender. And for those of us that shower at night, it's really soothing before you go to bed. Then I'm going to go on to a couple non-beauty favorites. A non-beauty favorite that's kind of big, kind of silly. You guys are going to be like, what? And it is protein powder. I know everyone just thinks that the guys at the gym drink this, but I drink it too. It's delicious. This is muscle milk. It's a lean pr muscle protein powder. And this is the chocolate flavor. And I uh, just started using this. I've used a lot of other ones. I've tried them before and like, I like them, but they didn't taste very good. This one's healthy and it also tastes really good. It just tastes like chocolate milk. Like it's really, really good. And it just looks like best quick, really. And it's so good. It's really good just to take at the gym with you and add some water and put in a shaker and it's delicious. Or it's really, really good to make into smoothies, which it leads to my next favorite. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know about this already because I have problems. For some reason, whenever I get some type of like household appliance, I'm like freakishly excited about it. I don't know why. Last year I bought a Swiffer for my dorm and it was like, I was way too excited about it. I don't know. I think they just make me feel grown up, but... I love this. It's a little dirty, but this is my Bella blender. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's just a one serving blender. I have the cup here to show you. And it comes with a bunch of different cups and it has a chopper blade and then it has a blender. I just have the blending one in. And you just kind of add it on like that and you screw it on. And of course you put what you want in there. And then it just attaches like right there, like that. And then it auto once you turn it, it automatically blends it. And I really like this. It kind of is like like the Nutribullet or something, except it's way, way cheaper. I got this for like on sale for like $20. And it works super, super well. My favorite thing to do is after I get home from a workout, I will fill up my cup, take it and fill it up probably about here with, well, here with ice. And then add a little bit of almond milk to it, probably just about to here. And then a scoop of powder and an entire banana. And it is so delicious and it really helps your muscles recover after you work out. And it's super, super just delicious. And it's just it's really filling. It's also really good if you put a little bit of peanut butter in it, if you want it to be a little bit more filling. So good. I have a couple of TV and music favorites. I don't know if this is going to come as a surprise to anyone or not, but it's The Strain. I've been like really excited about that show for since I saw the trailer for it. Or the, or I guess it wouldn't be a trailer, like the to commercial for it and it's really really good um it kind of reminds me of Fringe which I used to watch when I was younger before it ended and I really like shows like that that are kind of sci-fi and it's kind of like if Fringe and The Walking Dead had a baby it'd be the strain <laughs> so I don't know I just really like it if you're not into scary stuff you or like sci-fi kind of things you probably wouldn't like it because there are some like pathogens and stuff going on but I won't give anything away if you haven't seen it yet, but it's really good if you're into that. But if you're not, then you probably won't like it. For music, I've been obsessed with Ed Sheeran's Multiply album. I just purchased it like a week ago, but I'm including it in this because I've listened to it every single day. You can listen to it when you're in a quiet mood or if you're running or something. It just has enough energy to it that it keeps you going, but it's also like not too loud. Like it's just kind of in the middle and it's just really cool music especially the song photograph like that song like kills me it's so sweet i just love it so i love ed sheeran in general that is it for my favorites i have a couple unfavorites for you both hair products actually and both of these i gave them a good run so i tried really hard to like them the first one i've been trying for quite a while but it was a free gift at ulta one day it's um, it's a 10 miracle leave-in product plus keratin really really hard to like this you can see I used probably a good maybe third of it 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 just did not work it smells nice but the thing is I sprayed it into my hair and used it almost as a detangler when my hair was wet I tried it when it was dry mostly when it was wet and it just made my hair more tangly which I didn't understand I tried really hard I used a little bit I tried a lot it just did not work for me it's supposed to be really good for detangling, which I have super tangly hair when it's wet, and I had high hopes for this, but unfortunately, it was a flop for me. It didn't work. I've never tried the one without keratin. Maybe it's better. I'm not sure, because I've heard really good things about this line, so I had high hopes, but it didn't work for me. And then the second thing was I also had pretty high hopes for. It's kind of dirty, because it was just in my shower. This is The Bedhead by TG. Um... Dumb Blonde Shampoo for Chemically Treated Hair, and as you can see, I used 
I don't know if you can see that, but I used most of it. It stops about right here. It wasn't super cheap, so I tried really hard to use it up and to like it, but it just didn't do it for me. It's not nearly as purple as it is in, as the bottle is. The bottle is tinted. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a very light lavender color. I bought this because I tend to like to use purple shampoos um, occasionally, or this one I use daily just because it was so pale just to tone my hair, especially because I'm blonde, just to keep it from getting too brassy and too, just too warm or orangey toned. And so, yeah, I bought this after I used my John Frieda one up, and I was expecting it to be better since it was a salon brand as opposed to drugstore, and it couldn't hold a candle to the other one. John Frieda one I use is like really, really deep purple like this, and then you leave it in your hair, and it just really tones it well, and... I was kind of hoping for that, and that was the first problem. It didn't tone my hair like it's supposed to. Second problem was, I didn't notice any damage erasing because it is for chemically treated hair. It's supposed to help damaged hair. Didn't notice that. And the third problem, which was the biggest one, was I didn't feel like my hair was clean after I used it. And I know it's for damaged hair, so it's going to be a little bit more on the moisturizing side. I just felt like my washes didn't last as long. Like, I'd wash my hair, let it air dry or blow dry, and it already looked like it was dirty again. And going every other day without washing was very difficult with this shampoo, and I just felt like my hair was greasy and gross, and I just did not like it. I didn't realize how much I didn't like it until I just started using a different shampoo, and my hair looks so much better. I think that is everything for my favorites video. I hope you guys have a really great rest of your summer, and thank you for watching. I love you. Bye!